Hi everyone, we are here today with uh, Jeremy Lucchini, who is Manager of Certification Programs here at SolidWorks. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. And before we get started, I'm going to show everybody your office, because yours may actually be the most interesting one here at SolidWorks. You have all this crazy stuff, including for those CSWPs out there, the actual surfboard that everybody uh, signs at the CSWP event, plus all kinds of great toys and even a control panel from a, a CNC router. So if you ever find yourself here in Concord and you want something to play with, just come uh, visit Jeremy's office. So um. Yeah, well, it, it, it's actually just a collection of things that have been designed in SolidWorks. Um, and so it, it, I like to keep them in the office and it inspires me on a daily basis what our customers are doing. So um, I need a bigger office because there's more stuff we could, we, could be, we could have here on display. But yeah, it's cool. So how long have you been here? That's probably taken a while to collect some of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my ninth year here at SolidWorks, which is, which is great. So what did you do before you came here? I was uh, also uh, I was in the CAD industry for some time before I joined SolidWorks. Uh, one of the products I was teaching was uh, called IronCAD. Another one was called Solid Designer. Um, and then before that, I had my own training business, training and documentation for software. But um, yeah. That was so long ago, it feels like, you know, forever to me, you know. It's been nine years here at SolidWorks, so that's, that's what really counts. Yeah. <laughs> so your team is responsible for designing the, uh, the, the test, the CSWA test, the CSWP test, and all the, the various um, specialty tests. Mm -hmm. So I know you've been doing some work on those recently, improving them, revamping them. Um, I, I mean, how do you guys decide what to do with those? Uh, well. It, for the past few years, it's been all about getting uh, people uh, excited to take the tests and, and actually, you know, tell people that they're, they're certified in SolidWorks. So, we we originally started out with just one exam, and uh, that was uh, the CSWP exam, the most popular one. Uh, from there, uh, we we had introduced the CSWA exam for students who who might not have had exposure to uh, high-end training from resellers, uh, but wanted to communicate to to people that they knew SOLIDWORKS, at least from a fundamental standpoint. And then uh, as those programs grew, we, we decided it was time, and as the product grew, it, it, was, it was the right time to introduce some of these specialty exams, whether you were really good in sheet metal, really good in mold design. Uh, we were seeing from the community, um, or we getting requests really, to come up with new exams so people could communicate that on their resume or um, you know, if they were self-employed, they could they could uh, bid out on jobs with that kind of uh, achievement, basically. So, and it just continues to grow to a point now where we're looking at uh, for next year uh, the the highest level exam where you could accumulate almost like a master's degree or a doctorate degree. That's kind of what's happening in the certification world. So, when you, you start, we started out with one. Now we're up to uh, half a dozen. You know, continue to grow as as our company grows. So what kind of new specialty tests do you have planned? Well, right now, the, the, we have uh, Avellino's working on a, a Weldman's exam, uh, and Mike is working on uh, this high-level kind of doctorate, we'll call it for now, code name, or master's exam. Uh, so that's what my guys are working on now. Right available today are sheet metal, um, mold design, and surfacing. So you guys actually will um Proctor tests at SolidWorks World, right? That's right. Actually, these days it's 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 more like monitoring the room. Uh, the, the tests are online. You, you don't have to take them at SolidWorks mm -hmm. World, though. A lot of people choose to because it's a nice, quiet place for you to, uh, without distraction, where you can sit for three hours and, and try to become certified. And it's also included with your admission, isn't it? It is. Yep. Yeah. We've always always offered free certification exams at SolidWorks World, and the nice part about that conference is when you, you become certified, uh, you get discounts, you know, on an annual basis. You also get to attend the, the special party we throw uh, on Monday night, so it's it's worthwhile. And everybody, it, it's a it's a special club when you become a certified SolidWorks professional, and uh, we we encourage everybody. It's it's not exclusive. Um, you know, everybody should try at least to get certified if they're serious about their, their CAD career. So I know you've been going to SOLIDWORKS World for quite a few years. How have you seen things change? Hmm. Well, one thing that hasn't changed is the energy level of that conference. It's, it blows me away. I'm, I'm a big uh, fan of the conference. I, it's my favorite time of year. Um, 
some of the changes I would say is it's just become um, so overwhelming to me now where you can't squeeze everything in that you want to do. You have to really prepare yourself ahead of time um, and, and accept the fact that you won't be able to do everything you want to do and do your best to plan you know, the top priorities of the week, uh, the sessions you want to attend, the partners you want to talk to, the events you want to uh, go to. And, you know, um, I would advise on drinking as much Red Bull as you can <laughs> and yeah, try not to sleep at all, try not to over, over drink at the parties because you'll miss out, you really will. So for those people watching who aren't SolidWorks World veterans, is there anything you'd recommend um, as far as you know, things to see, things to do? Um, yeah, usually, you know, people will, will, will say, you know, read through the, um, the, the agenda and the presentations that are going, going to go on, but a lot of folks don't know these presenters, and, and I do over the years. So I was going on through it today, and I could give you my own personal list of people that I would, you know, love to see present and learn from. Uh, sure. You know, so let's let's roll through some let's, names real quick. Let's see. Who you yeah, I mean, it, you know, I don't. I know I won't be able to see all these folks, but I know they're they're quality presenters, and they're, they're all presenting on a variety of topics. Um, you've got uh, Sluter. Phil Sluter is going to talk uh, about his tips and tricks. He's a longtime veteran of CAD. Justin Kidder works for us. He's going to talk about configurations. Uh, that'll be awesome. Mark Leiza. He also works for us. Um, going to give a presentation on drawings. Marlon Banta on motion. Jason Rack, a popular blogger, is going to do in-context modeling, which that's a, that's a great topic to present on. Uh, Paul Gimbel, I know Paul, he's, he's always a pretty dynamic presenter. He's going to talk about automation, API. Uh, Jay Patterson used to work for a huge customer that uh, down in Orlando, you might, you might know them, they make fancy rides. Uh, he now works for us. He's going to talk about speed pack. Uh, Rob Rodriguez on photorealism. Uh, he's kind of probably at the highest level of photorealistic talent. Uh, Mark Schneider, my favorite presenter in the past decade by far. He's given a, uh, a, a presentation called Model Like a Maniac. I mean, <laughs> if, if I can only make one uh, breakout session, that would be it. Mark, I'm a huge fan of Mark. Another one I would I would really try to make would be Jason Panko's presentation on new tricks for old dogs like me. Um, my friend Tom Solomon, he works for HP. He's a hardware guy. He's going to give his tips and tricks on setting up systems like HP. And uh, the list goes on. I mean, uh, Ramesh Lakshmipathy uh, is going to give an a presentation on flow simulation. He's a great guy. Uh, I would definitely try to make that session if you're, if you're into simulation of uh, product design. Uh, Gerald Davis, Sheet Metal, Randy Simmons, Routing, Rick Chin, my, my second favorite person of all time when it comes to presenting technical topics. He's going to talk about sustainability, so if you can see Rick Chin do it, definitely. Kelly Frazier, she's uh, super smart. She's given a, a topic on system options, which can, can confuse a lot of people in SOLIDWORKS, so I would uh, attend her session as well. Jeff Marisola, we all love Jeff. He's a pretty hardcore guy. He's going to do a Stump the Chump session. Ron Bates works for us. He's going to do a, uh, a materials and rendering. And, and then I've got a couple more here. Wayne Tiffany on sheet metal. And then uh, probably the, the number one skilled surfacing guy in the whole company, Mark Biasotti, on Wednesdays, given uh, a couple of presentations. So, you know, it's tough to pick through that list. And I know all these folks. So I, I'm going to feel bad that I'm going to miss some of them, but it's just how it goes. But, you know. Out of the group, I would say Schneider, Pancoast, Chin, and Biasotti would be at the top of my list. Um, and, and that's where you would find me at this conference. For anyone who's interested, we actually have presentations from Wayne Tiffany, Phil Sluter, and Justin Kidder on the SolidWorks blog from uh, SolidWorks 2009 in Orlando. So you can definitely go check those out if you want to see uh, what some of these might look like. Yeah, that's the best. I mean, obviously, you can't make them all. So the good part about the conference is yeah, you can download these presentations. But if you know seeing these guys live is, is fantastic. You really you know get to see what they're made of, and you know I've had the benefit of becoming friends with a lot of these guys. So it's it's the best time of year if you're into SolidWorks. Yep, can't wait. Well, Jeremy, I just wanted to say thanks for taking the time to sit down and talk. You and, bet. Um, unless you have any last words, uh, we'll see you in Anaheim. All right, we'll see you in Anaheim. All don't right. don't miss the general session. They'll be good this year. <laughs> That's what we hear. All right.